This was a tutorial request by you, the community, and they sent me this video from Adidas. It's really cool. Let me play it back for you. Okay, let's go back and let me step through frame by frame. It looks complicated, but once we step through, I'm gonna break it down for you and I'm gonna show you the technique of how to create this paper cutout. Let's step through. And right here, it just cuts to a different image. And here's the first cutout. You can see that they just have a cutout. It's a still frame, it's a cutout. Let's step through. And there's a second image behind the first image, another cutout. And then they switch the background and another cutout. Then they make it go away. Another cutout. So all they're doing is just cutting between different backgrounds or adding different cutouts. And these cutouts are up there for anywhere from four, five, six, or seven frames. For this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create that cutout technique. And then I'm gonna break down on how I pulled off this Kike Hernandez graphic. Let me show you how to create that paper cutout effect. And what we'll do is let's go to the footage, select your footage, I'll select this footage, drag it into the composition icon to make a comp with the same size, the same frame rate as your footage. What we'll do is let's select our frame that we want to create this cutout and we'll select this frame. Make sure that your layer is selected. Let's freeze it, right click, go to time and go to freeze frame. And now this frame is frozen. Go to the pen tool and let's cut it out. Let's cut this out and pretend you have scissors and just cut it out. Now I'm using Kike Hernandez from the Dodgers. It's one of my favorite players on the Dodgers. Charismatic player, loves the game and plays it with a lot of passion, a lot of passion. It's also from PR. And let's close this mask. Notice that the edges are nice and crisp. Our next step is to create that distressed look. Make sure that the layer is selected. Let's go to effect, go down to stylize and select rough and edges. And for the edge type, let's switch it to spiky. Let's make the border three, the sharpness two, the scale 30, and the complexity three. Now, definitely experiment with these values, but this, is, this should be a good starting point for you. Let me zoom in and let me show you how it looks. So we're creating this nice distressed look for the edges. And the next step is to give it a little bit of white, the white of the paper behind it. And to do that, let's create a new solid. Control Y or Command Y to create a solid. Let's make it white. Hit OK. And let's place this layer beneath our freeze. Actually, let's rename our layer, this layer to freeze. And hit M for mask and let's copy the mask. Control C or Command C if you're using Apple. Go to the solid, Control V or Command V to paste it. And let's select it, hit P for position. And what we want to do is slightly offset this layer. We'll offset it on the X, maybe by two pixels, make it 962. And you can see that we have this nice offset. We can also offset on the Y value, whatever values you want, but it only has to be maybe one, two, or three pixels. Now let's go ahead and let's copy this effect. Control C or Command C, and let's paste it into our solid. Again, Control V or Command V. So we also have that effect. And if you want to make it different, you can go ahead and maybe just adjust these values if you want, just to give it a slightly different, so it's not exactly the same. It's up to you. Now let's add one more effect to the solid and let's give it a drop shadow. Select the layer, go to effect, perspective, and go down to drop shadow. And a good starting point is to make the distance 10 and the softness 10. And you can always adjust these values, but this is a good starting point for you. 
Okay, let's add a texture to this cutout. And let's go back to project. Let's go to textures. And I'll post the link where I got this texture. And this is a really nice texture, grunge texture that we can use. And like I said, I'll post a link. This is not something that I created, but I downloaded and it's free for everyone. And it's from Photoshop Supply. I'll bring it in. Let's rename it to texture. And what I'll do is let's go to our freeze. Let's make a copy, control D or command D. Let's bring it all the way up and let's rename it to map. And what we'll do is we'll do a track map. So go to the texture, make sure you have track map. You can click on this button right here and let's choose alpha map. And now let's go and make this smaller. Let's go to our texture. We can scale it down, scale it down a little bit and we can move it. And now let's add a blending mode. Go to the blending mode and select screen. And you can play around with the position. But since we created a map, it's within our cutout that we created. Okay, this looks good. Now feel free to add levels, add curves to your image, to your freeze. What I did is I added a couple effects that I want to show you. Go to effect, go to color correction, and we'll go to equalize, and we can choose brightness. And I added a tritone. Go back to color correction, go back to tritone. We can change the color. Let's add this paper texture all the way to the back. And there you go. This is how you can create this paper cutout effect. And let me go to the composition that I created of Kike Hernandez. Let me step through frame by frame so I can show you. You can have a better idea of how I constructed this. And let me zoom in on my timeline. And here we have it. So it's going and then we see the first cutout and you can see it's one, two, three, four, five frames. We go to the second one. One, two, three, four, five. We go to the next one and I pop this one in. And then you can see that I go to this one, this next image, then I'll pop this, this other freeze in blue. Then I'll change, I change this one and then I pop this one in pink. Let's keep going forward. I changed the background. So while we have this, I changed the background. I added the text, Kike. Let's keep going forward. Then I popped this one, the home run trot. Everything goes away. Popped in the second one. And then finally went to this last image. And then after that, I just popped the text. You see home and then run, run, and then the last run. And all it is, is you're cutting to these different images. That's all you're doing. You're not animating. I'm not adjusting any keyframes. It's simply just cutting to these different images. But once you have this technique of the cutout, it'll give it a nice look. And that's it. Hopefully you guys learned a lot in this tutorial. Thank you for watching.